The first skip on this list is going to be from Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. This skip was originally found by using an action replay to do a moon jump glitch, which would let you access a loading zone out of bounds. For three years it had been speculated that you could access this loading zone from elsewhere, until eight months ago this sought out after skip was discovered. By doing a plethora of different tricks, you'll be able to force Yoshi out of bounds, teleport to him while out of bounds, and then use encounters to do a double jump glitch to angle Mario in a way that he'll go under the stage and walk into a loading zone. This skip skips chapters 4, 5, and 6, as well as Riddle Tower, saving over an hour from the speedrun. I don't have time to explain the full glitch in this video, but if you want to hear a detailed explanation of the glitch, I'll be linking a video made by Maleo, one of the glitch discoverers, in the description. The next big skip in our list is a pretty crazy glitch in Dark Cloud that was found recently in July of 2016. After restoring Gaffer's buggy, which gives you access to a shop in Dark Cloud, it's time to start heavily messing with the game. There's a glitch that allows you to get some items from a glitched menu. In order to do this, you have to press right, X, and R1 at the same time while hovering certain items. After removing a bunch of different items and unequipping 12,000 power-up powders from the active menus, you'll be able to warp to the next to last area in the game, Dark Heaven Castle. By going to the check encounter and doing a similar glitch, you can modify the game to think that the map you save is endgame credits. When you save the game and reload it, the credits will then be played. The Dark Heaven Castle skip saves around 20 minutes from the previous world record, and with all the skips, it definitely saves over an hour from the any percent speedrun. In Diablo 1, there is a very essential item you need to get that allows you to skip a large percent of the game, called the Book of Teleport. After duping your gold and praising to RNGs this every time you reload the game in hopes that the shopkeeper will be selling the Book of Teleport, you'll now be able to use it to, well, teleport. The Book of Teleport allows you to teleport through different rooms in Diablo until you finally find the end. Since this game is heavily RNG based, it's extremely hard to tell how much time this trick saves individually, but it has helped speedrunners to complete the entire game in under 13 minutes. The next skip on our list is a warp glitch, or also known as a kiln skip in Dark Souls. This skip is used to skip to the final area of the game called the Kiln of the First Flame. Normally in any playthrough of this game, after defeating the bosses Ornstein and Smog, you will receive an item called the Lord Vessel. After defeating the four Lord bosses, you will be able to fill the Lord Vessels with their souls and use this to enter the kiln. As you can imagine, this takes a pretty long time to do, but the kiln skip skips all of that in its entirety. There are a few different ways to perform this skip, but they all have to do with quitting the game during the loading screen. When you do this, the game won't remember your exact location, and it will send you to the area's default location that you warped from. By doing this at the kiln, you'll be able to skip behind the door that requires a full Lord Vessel, saving about 23 minutes from the speedrun. Castlevania Symphony of the Night has a really cool skip that bypasses a relic requirement to get to the elevator, which leads you to the last boss in the game. You get these relics usually by defeating bosses, so by skipping acquiring relics, you also skip having to defeat certain bosses. You can perform relic skip by going to the room right before the save room before the elevator. If you backdash during a heart refresh, which is basically like a pause buffer used to make sure you're under a correct pixel, into the next room, it will skip you right past the save room. If you turn into a bat while going through the save room, you can clip into the ceiling and get yourself to the elevator, which leads you to the chambers of the final boss Dracula. This is an Alucard only glitch in Symphony of the Night. UV Warping is an incredible skip in Final Fantasy VII. It is a PC exclusive skip and allows speedrunners to warp to almost any area in the game. In order to perform this glitch, you need to have a save file that doesn't have one of the characters in the game, named Yuffie, unlocked. The way you get Yuffie to join your party is when you encounter her in the woods under the name Mystery Ninja, and then defeat her. To perform Yuffie Warping, you must first get a game over in any non-world map battle or the diamond weapon boss battle. Afterwards, you need to load the save file that doesn't have Yuffie unlocked. After finding the Mystery Ninja and defeating them, the game will usually take you to the area in which you can recruit Yuffie, but instead the game will warp you to the area where you had your last game over. This can be used to skip very large portions of the game and saves almost 5 hours from the any percent speedruns that are not ran on PC. Fallout 3 is an incredible sequence break that allows you to skip from the very first quest in the game, Escape, to the third to the last quest in the game, Finding the Garden of Eden, skipping 7 of the 11 major quests. This is done by abusing the loading mechanics of the game. Much like with Oblivion we spoke about in part 2 of Biggest Skips, when you load Fallout 3, it loads your character in the floor first, then it loads the rest of the objects. If you quick save and load the game quickly while moving into a wall, it's possible to clip through it. However, when you clip out of bounds, the developers made it that when it happens, you get sent to a default spawn location. Depending where you clip at, you save quite a bit of time clipping at specific spots. You can use this glitch to get to Vault 87 early. At Vault 87, you can use the glitch again to get yourself to a fire alarm, which will start the quest Finding the Garden of Eden, effectively skipping a large portion of the game. Alright guys, the next skip I'm going to be going over is one of the most well-known skips in all of speedrunning, which is a wrong warp in Super Mario Bros. 3, which was even featured 5 months ago on the Stephen Colbert show. During the speedrun of Super Mario Bros. 3, speedrunners will quickly find the two warp whistles that are hidden in World 1, which allow you to warp to a different set of levels. 
By using them both, you can skip your way to World 7, which is the area in which you'll be able to do the wrong warp. There's an invisible pipe in level 7-1 that will execute incorrect instructions by the game. This game reads instructions by using values in the game including Mario's position on the x-axis, the amount of enemies on screen, and where the enemies are located. You can modify all these values by using Mario, but it's very difficult to do. If everything is in the correct location after entering the pipe, the game will skip you straight to the end where Peach is, and the credits will play. This skip saves a little over 7 minutes from the speedrun, which is roughly 70% of the speedrun. The next big skips I'm going to be going over are the skips in Jack and Daxter. And yes, that is correct, I did say skips. Not that there are multiple huge skips in Jack and Daxter, but each game in the Jack and Daxter trilogy all contain really big skips, so I thought I would include them all and put them in the number 2 spot for this top 10. So starting off with Jack and Daxter, or Jack 1, will be the Lava Tube skip. By doing an extended uppercut, you can get Jack out of bounds. Next you'll want to go to the area in Out of Bounds that the game thinks is part of the Lava Tube. While in this area and standing completely still, Jack will go into his idle animation which when you do this will save the checkpoint of the area you're standing in. Next you traverse through the volcanic crater while avoiding the lava tube checkpoints. Eventually you can get to an area where you can deload the volcanic crater so that when you die, the game will put you in the second checkpoint of the lava tube which skips a lot of the game including receiving 72 power cells. This skip saves 30 minutes from the any% percent speedrun. The next skip is a Mars Tomb skip in Jack 2. This game has restricted areas which require card keys to get through, but speedrunners found some spots that they are able to go out of bounds on to get through two of these barriers. Next, by getting yourself to Mars Tomb through loads of more clips, you will trigger a cutscene that has you play as Daxter, where he gets chased by a spider. After this, the game thinks that you are actually this far into the game, and you'll have every gun unlocked and the jet board as well, skipping roughly 50% of the storyline. For the last skip in Jack 3 will of course be another out of bounds skip that you do after the tutorial for the game. After getting out of bounds you need to traverse through the desert by foot until you reach a mountain. You can skip a lot of loading zones by walking through these mountains. This makes some of the rocks deload and allows you to get on a second plane of water beneath the normal one to swim to the monk temple. Once you're here you do some more out of bounds to reach an area of the game you're not supposed to reach which has the game put you into a mission. After completing this mission you will be in the very last few missions of the game. Alright guys, now it's time for the final skip of this top 10 which will be the huge sequence break in Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. This is done by abusing a glitch known as the Zip Glitch. Zipping is a glitch that works in all of the Prince of Persia games and is used to rewind time to fix mistakes in gameplay. Although this is useful within the game, it can also be abused to skip through massive parts of the game. By performing the rewind and doing an action, you can perform a series of inputs which will boost that action and propel you forward while avoiding collision. While this glitch is present in most if not all Prince of Persia games, the reason why this skips more in Warrior Within is because Warrior Within is open world, where the other games are not. This means you can access most of the world from any point in the game, sort of like other open world games like Skyrim. By doing the zip glitch at the area you see on the screen, you skip to an area of the game you're not supposed to have unlocked yet. There's a fountain right next to this area, which fountains are basically the checkpoints within the game. After this, you need to go to the foundry and die. After you die at the foundry, the game will change your storyline counter to this area in the game, and you will now have skipped to almost the very end of the game. This skip saves roughly 2 hours from the no major glitches speed run. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. This unfortunately will probably be the last part of the series since I've covered majority of the major skips in speedrunning. I know a lot of you guys requested a lot of really cool games, but when I went into researching them, they didn't really have a big skip but mainly a glitch or trick that was used multiple times in the run, so really wouldn't fit in with this top 10. Although this is going to lead us onto our next top 10 of the sorts, which will be top 10 glitches or tricks in speedrunning, where I'll be going over those games. So make sure you guys leave a subscription and hit that little bell so you can be alerted for whenever I do upload that video. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you left a like, because that's the best way to show support for these videos. Also, a huge thanks to all of the speedrunners that helped me with the descriptions for each game. That's all I have to say you guys, so as always, goodbye and have a beautiful life.